So here we are a couple of months after the introduction of the harmonized sales tax in British Columbia and it's surprising that there's still as much misinformation floating around about what was impacted with the change to the harmonized sales tax. You know there's a, an Angus Reid survey that came out that uh, showed that for example 64 percent of British Columbians thought that their cell phone charges were higher because of the harmonized sales tax when in fact they haven't changed at all. Uh, interestingly, 61% of the, those surveyed thought that adult clothing was more expensive when in fact it was subject to 12% consumption tax before and it continues to be subject to the same 12% consumption tax. But what was even more surprising for me was that 76% thought that basic groceries were subject to the harmonized sales tax. And basic groceries were exempt uh, under the goods and services tax and they continue to be exempt under the harmonized sales tax. And, and even things you know that you might buy at a grocery store that, uh, for example, uh, washing uh, detergent, um, that's something that was previously subject to both the 5% GST and the 7% uh, PST and now it's subject to the same 12% harmonized sales tax. You know, things like computers, um, that, uh, you know, they were, it was interesting, uh, someone being interviewed uh, by a TV crew before the introduction and sort of said, yes, I went out and bought a computer to avoid the harmonized sales tax. Well, they would have paid the same 12% before July 1st as they would pay after July 1st as a result. Now, uh, some things, in fact, do wind up being more expensive. And, you know, here's two examples, like junk food generally, it was subject to the 5% uh, goods and services tax before, but not the PST. Uh, under the harmonized sales tax system, they actually wind up being charged the full 12%. In fact, some people think that's a good thing because we should be discouraging um, the consumption of junk food. Um, and then there's things uh, that actually, uh, you know, things like the uh, children's, children's clothing. Um, it would still be subject to the 5% portion of the harmonized sales tax, but not the provincial 7%. Because we were able to negotiate with the federal government a whole series of exemptions and children's size clothing and books and uh, gasoline and home energy costs are examples of things that are exempt from the provincial 7% share. And in fact, you know, there's even some things that came down in price. You know, these uh, disposable diapers, for example, uh, prior to July 1st would have been subject to the provincial sales tax and the federal goods and services tax, but we were able to exempt diapers. And so as a result, things like diapers wind up being less expensive to families in British Columbia. So it's, um, you know, what the studies show is that there's actually about 20% uh, of goods and services that wind up being a little bit more expensive under the harmonized sales tax system, but there's 80% of goods and services wind up without any change at all. And uh, we know that the, the harmonized sales tax is going to help build the economy, it's going to help create jobs in British Columbia, and those jobs are going to give BC families more stability in the future.